look, I'm nobody special, but if I can heal grand mal seizures, vertigo, chronic pain, being bedridden, then anybody can. My name is Angela, and over the last eight years, I have suffered from many chronic conditions. Some of these conditions forced me to be bedridden for many days, or if not months. I couldn't play with my children, take care of my home, be the wife I wanted to be, or do the things that I enjoyed. And it felt like no matter what I did, it didn't matter, I just couldn't get better. Even when I did everything the doctors told me to do, in some cases, I even got worse. If you're currently sick or struggling with your health, believe me, I completely understand how you feel. It can be so depressing and frustrating, especially if you're doing everything your doctor says that you need to do. Um, even though I'm not 100% healed, I do believe that everything that I wanna share with you today will help you because it has helped me immensely. So these are not overnight fixes, but if you aren't doing any of these things that I recommend, you will feel a dramatic shift really quickly because they're so powerful. And I am so happy to say that after implementing all of these things that I now can play with my kids. I have energy to take care of my home and my, my family and I cook all of our meals and you know I'm the wife I want to be again and I get to enjoy hobbies that I love. And I just feel like I have my life back now and it, it makes me so happy. And that's why I want to share this with you because if you're searching for answers and you're not finding them, I'm hoping that this video will help you. Well, and if you're sitting there thinking, well, I can't get better, not with my condition, well, then you're absolutely right. As long as you believe that you can't heal, then you won't. My first tip is to improve your mindset. I'll make a more detailed video on how I do this and how I've improved my mindset over time, but this is my number one key to healing. And the reason for this is because when we have negative thoughts, we produce cortisol and adrenaline. These chemicals are okay in small amounts, but when we are producing large amounts of this, these chemicals, they harm our body and make it very hard for our bodies to heal. And so the opposite is true. When you think positive thoughts, you release dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, endorphins, and these are all very healing chemicals. And so if you're trying to heal your body and get better, you need to watch your thoughts and make sure you're thinking positive and loving and joyful and happy thoughts because that's going to help you heal. Okay, my second tip is getting really good sleep. Now this one is still a struggle for me. I'm a mom of three. I have a 10 month old who is not sleeping through the night yet. So I do believe that this is kind of the missing piece to my healing puzzle. I know when I start getting that really deep restorative sleep, everything was just gonna take off. I'm gonna just finish my healing because I'm almost there. <laughs> but that deep restorative sleep is so important to healing. That's when all the good, all the magic happens is at night. And the earlier you go to bed, the better. Our brains actually cleanse it themselves from the hours of nine to one. And so if you're not asleep during those times, you're not getting that benefit. And so it's really important to go to bed early and to get, I would say, at least eight hours at the minimum. But sleep is vital to healing. Okay, my next thing that you need to focus on is your diet. Now, I don't believe that there is one perfect diet for humans because we're all so different. We come from different parts of the world and we have different gut microbiomes. So I don't truly believe that one diet is meant for all humans but I do believe that it needs to come from nature, whatever you're eating, you know, it needs to be real food. I have a saying that I use, if man made it, leave it. If God made it, then eat it. So anything in nature is, you know, what you wanna focus on. None of the processed foods. Um, I know that can be hard when you don't feel well because it's more convenient to just buy processed foods so you don't have to cook but it's really important to focus on eating whole, real foods. I'll make a video on how I personally choose to eat and how I, what makes me feel good. I have tried every diet out there. You know, I've done vegan and raw vegan and carnivore, keto, Mediterranean, paleo, 
um, the AIP diet. I mean, I've tried so many diets <laughs> to see if that could be, you know, what would help me heal. So I felt better on certain diets, but then I would also have side effects from it. Or another diet would make me feel really good in one way, but really bad in another. And so I just think moderation is kind of the key, but you just wanna make sure that it's real food. And this is something that you're just going to have to experiment with. You know, maybe you do really well on lots of fruits and vegetables, or maybe you feel better eating lots of meat. We're all different and you're just gonna have to experiment and see what works best for you. Don't let anyone tell you that this is the way or that's the way. I think as long as you focus on eating true food, real food, and when you eat it, you believe that that food is nourishing your body and you know, you're eating in a calm state, you're not rushing or anything, you're in a calm state, um, your body's gonna assimilate that food better and it's going to nourish your body. Okay, the next thing that I think is really important is to make sure you are connecting with others. So we are social creatures. We're meant to live, you know, around other people. We used to live in tribes and, you know, we were always with others. And nowadays we tend to be very isolated. We live alone or um, we just don't connect with people the way we used to. And I truly believe that that is a big part of being healthy and healing is connection. I know that while I was really sick, it was really hard to connect with people because, you know, I was stuck in bed or I was so dizzy that I couldn't even, you know, stand up or go do anything. And, you know, I lost a lot of friendships that way. Nobody wanted to do anything with me because I couldn't really do much. And I understand that. And so it is hard when you are chronically ill to connect with others, but it is very important. So if you can find a few friends that maybe they just come hang out with you a few times a week, or you play a game, or even if you just have a conversation with them, having some kind of connection with other humans is truly healing for your body. To heal your body, you also need to manage your stress. Now this is really hard in the world we live in today. It's a very stressful world. Everyone feels like they gotta go, go, go. and. You know, it's almost frowned upon to just sit and do nothing. I know that was really hard for me when I was sick, feeling like I couldn't do everything that I wanted to do because everyone around me was going and doing and I couldn't. And that just made my condition worse. But in order to heal, you have to lower your stress. You have to find some way to manage that stress because you will never ever heal if you are living in fight or flight. And so it's important to get your nervous system in a calm state so you can heal. And there's lots of different things you can do to manage stress. You can do deep breathing, um, do some light yoga, meditation, watch a funny movie, um, talk to somebody that makes you feel good. But it's important to find something in some way that you can relieve your stress because that's just vital for healing. And you also need to consider giving yourself time. You, know, you didn't get into this condition overnight, most likely. And so it's going to take time for your body to heal. And you just need to be loving to yourself and give yourself time and be patient. It will happen. As long as you believe it'll happen, it'll happen. So just be patient and implement these things that I've given you in this video. And I really believe that it will help you if, you know, at least make you feel a little bit better. And that's what you want, right? Even if you can't get 100%, feeling better and getting a better quality of life is what we all want. The purpose of my videos is to help people like you find peace, joy, and health. And I'm gonna do that through offering videos on mindset, um, routines, healthy living, and different things that have helped me along the way. I want you to feel more relaxed in your body and in your life. So please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye.